Hello, hello everybody, this is Mr. MMW and I'm coming back to you with another tutorial video, this time about the editor. I have noticed that uh, there are not uh, many uh, guides of, uh, about how to make a mod or a scenario for this game, so I decided to uh, feature that. First of all, where do you even find this damn thing? You uh, go to send, in the game folder of course, and then you see this editor. Pick whatever uh, version of uh, Windows you have, 32 or 64 bit. Presumably the 64 bit is better. Open that. You may also want to go to the manuals and read uh, the ebook, the yeah, the PDF for uh, the uh, editor. But uh, it is a little bit dated, um, I must say. It is also not uh, very clear on many things. But the uh, program itself is extremely easy to use. So first of all, you open this by hitting this file button, open scenario and uh, select whichever ones, one you want. Say load. It'll take a little bit. Any day now, and here you go. First of all, you see all these buttons, and you see a list down here. This list contains pretty much everything in the game. Let's start with uh, the most important stuff. Scenario, you see these buttons right here. This is main, locations, air groups, pilots. This uh, is the first thing you should uh, start when making a new scenario, for example, or a mod. Adjust, first of all, the name, out or whatever. You see, the things are pretty much exactly as they uh, say they are. Uh, first, you should modify uh, whatever the leftmost and the topmost X and Y coordinates. You see this in game, of course. And the uh, bottom right. And you edit this, this number so that you can zone out a region. For example, if you want to zone out only the continental United States or only China or something. Uh, a little while ago I made a China only scenario in order to test things out there. And you just uh, select that part of the map, make a box and there you go. You can also set the date of course and how many turns the game runs for. For example, you may mod modify the Burma scenario so that it has uh, uh, forever days instead of uh, only like two months, right? And also, this is also pretty important, uh, political turns per turn, if you want to adjust them, you can simply put another zero or something. Uh, and you can very easily tweak this. Now, air groups, you may see these and these pilots. This is the pool and the replacement pool for uh, the year that uh, the game starts in. And you can adjust the numbers. If you want, for example, in scenario 2, the Japanese start with 55 and like 60 pilot experience. This is the average and they, uh, as you pull pilots from the replacement pool, they get uh, numbers according to these ones, right? So you may adjust the pool, may adjust the experience and the rate at, of gain. For example, you may want uh, to dampen, for example, the experience that the allies get later in the war. Whatever you wish, really. Right. You can do this very easily. The game is programmed up to 1947, right? But you can go up to 1948 if you want. The AI data, I... Uh, frankly, I would not mess with it too much. for uh, Because while it is pretty easy to make scripts, the AI is not very good at implementing them. And it may even crash your game if you write something wrong or... Uh, you essentially, uh, if you really want to uh, make a good quote-unquote AI in this game, you must only uh, tell the divisions where to go and the AI, AI will do that with uh, whatever ships they have available, right? It will not do so very smartly, but it will do that. So, as, uh, the more detailed, the better, generally speaking. Now, let's go on to the more, more important stuff. 
this is, are the things you may may want to mod more than anything else for example tools the, uh, the every single device in the game is here both allied and japanese you can edit the, edit every single number in here you can also see this on the right this also appears in locations no, not exactly but <laughs> something close to it yeah and this uh, just the number uh, of how how uh, supply and fuel and oil and resources work in the scenario so every patch of oil gives 10 output oil right you can set this to 20 if you want and uh, every bit of uh, heavy industry requires to fuel you may modify this of course uh, the devices let's go on to uh, this you can all obviously very easily change the numbers or you may modify them say copy go in, go to an empty patch paste and here you go you have a new tool and you can name it, name it Miegagan there you go if you so wish you can also set if it's built, it, if it has a build rate, if you want to replace certain things generally, although you should not play do anything with these guys. You can modify them, but you should not uh, replace them because many things in the game are very much dependent on them being here, especially these ones, right? So you should probably put them over here. For example, if I want to make... Uh, the mark 14 where is it oh whatever if you can mod things as you wish to make them more realistic or whatever you wish now let's explain what these do first of all available means availability date a bunch of them start here mainly the a uh, the aa guns and the torpedoes and depth charges come in later a bit later actually not these guns but uh, the radar you see, some of them come into uh, 1944 and such. You can modify it, of course. Let's take a look, for example, let's copy the Yamato gun. We can scroll down, paste it here. Rename it. And let's talk about what these do. First of all, the pool, of course. How many you have in the pool. The range in thousands of yards. It's, of course, important. The base accuracy. The penetration, this uh, uh, affects the armor. This does not have uh, armor because it's just a gun. It's not the whole turret. The ceiling for uh, AA guns if, or if it's a dual purpose gun, the effect. Now this is a bit interesting because the effect essentially does the damage. Right, you see how much damage it does. And it does that to the HP, if you will. Does it to, uh, I think, both the armor, I think. I'm not completely sure about how damage calculation works, because uh, it is never explained anywhere, unfortunately. But uh, there is essentially HP in uh, things, mainly in ships, because they have a, a thing called uh, durability, but it doesn't work a straight one-to-one. -one. So uh, this effect, 3000, doesn't mean it has 3000 damage to the uh, ship itself. It gets converted and I'm not quite sure about the uh, calculation. You also have uh, anti-armor, this is the effectiveness, right? So this is a percentage, same with anti-soft. This is the penetration, this is... right. So if, for things that have armor, you modify this... Uh, base armor this effect sorry by this anti-armor and of course uh, with this penetration same with anti-soft this is a modifier upon the effect this is the base damage if you will and they get modified by some equation that I do not know by these numbers and you get the effect you can also see 
and these buttons here are static this essentially means that they cannot be loaded onto a ship air search mode this is for radar a bomb of course cannon is machine gun this is for uh, aircraft of course and the shore party i'm pretty sure this is only used for uh, uh, landing ships so that uh, they essentially unload faster if you look at ships let's take a look first of all at ships themselves then at classes you can see they are here actually you know perhaps uh, at classes first because they show what they have right so here is the individual ships you can see they are uh, sorted by id and each of these are ids essentially up are upgrades to each other so you can see that this one upgrades to this one two upgrades to three three upgrades to four and so on right and all they do is modify these uh, uh, equipment devices that they have on them you can see mainly the aa and radar gets modified as i go up and you can take a look here you can modify the number of turrets and the number of guns and the ammunition and where they are this is especially important for an aircraft if you perhaps want to make newer aircraft or make uh, imaginary aircraft or whatever or maybe make corrections that uh, the game may have gotten wrong you can do this you can put them uh, wherever the uh, main difference is that guns uh, particularly for aircraft i'm not sure about uh, ships guns that are, have center line that are center line have an increase to accuracy by um i think 20 percent again i'm not quite sure but uh, it is something like that and the uh, wing guns you can see it here of course but for the aircraft they have a uh, dampened accuracy and you can see where they come in when they are available how much fuel endurance and such they have tonnage of course this is dependent for a ship a shipyard and cargo capacity and aircraft for uh, carriers if you want to make a carrier let's see if i can find the carrier here if only it didn't start at the british right here you go for the carriers you must always have uh, the torpedo ordnance in weapon 19 and the aircraft ordnance in weapon 20 this is a must because uh, otherwise uh, your ship is not a carrier anymore there you go for example if you may want to uh, make a conversion uh, an upgrade to a battleship for example for whatever reason you want to give i don't know the nagato make it be able to uh, convert into a a carrier you must uh, remove of course remove the guns and whatever uh, but also must put those devices here and you select them through here there you go with the ships themselves here we go you can select that where they are based for example at the beginning of the game if you want to uh, put them into a task force or a specific base and the delay this is the date right 1941 1206 this is the format you may put them in the base or in a task force you must already establish a task force in this uh, tab and you can assign the, it to that base or you can put it into a singular base or a hex according to its id and you can just search through here they are uh, ordered nicely to show and they have of course have an id that uh, you must sign you can also see they have they carry aircraft if they do this you can all, all of course uh, change in the air groups and of course uh, different things damage this is damage the fuel that they have on board and such things and the commander of course with aircraft things uh, uh, work a bit differently i guess they of course have range max range uh, of course they have a cruising speed max speed endurance maneuver all the things that uh, are in 
for all other aircraft durability. This is of course dependent on uh, the machine gun and the device that you have them armed with. So you can perhaps balance things out by adjusting both the device and the aircraft uh, modifiers so that they are balanced, if you will. The crew, right? Uh, armor, of course. You can see a uh, light bomber cap uh, capable. You may see, by the way, that uh, in game uh, the pilots are uh, sorted by fighter, bomber, patrol plane, uh, float plane. Transport and such, but uh, in the editor, they are more uh, specific about it. They are a carrier capable, attack bomber, medium bomber, and heavy bomber, and light bomber. I'm not quite sure uh, what uh, this specific one does, but these essentially limit you to uh, being just that specific type of bomber. Again, I'm not quite sure about the specific things that this uh, may give you some sort of bonus to a certain altitude of bombing, but you can check, you know. For example, the Hudson, it's a medium bomber. The B-24M is a Liberator, is a heavy bomber. Perhaps uh, this is this one is better at high altitude bombing than this one, but I have no way to know that. And such things. For example, an attack bomber surely is uh, better at strafing than uh, these guys, right? And of course, uh, the most important one is carry out capable or float capable. If they carry floats, of course. And of course, you uh, may modify everything you wish about them. The nationality, of course. You must define all of these things. And uh, the uh, their equipment, for example, like you can make... Uh, the liber uh, Liberator carry, uh, you know, 200 bombs if you want, or whatever. For the Japanese, of course, uh, it is quite important uh, the engine. For example, the Oscar line carries the HA-35. But if you so wish, you can modify this to carry the, I don't know, the turbojet. And uh, modify the speed to uh, uh, 600, I don't know. Whatever you wish to do. Their groups. You can see them here. They, these are all defined. You can modify them of course. And this uh, here on the right is the pilots. You can set them to uh, being kamikazes. Uh, do operations during the day. Whatever. You can modify that stuff in game. It's If it's uh, ship based. You can select, select the ship. Or if it's uh, ground based. At the HQ of course. The leader, you can see if it's at zero, it's random. You can go press uh, on this button and you can see all the leaders that you have. You can make new ones too. And you can simply go and select them. You can go by this. A skill, by the way, means leadership. There you go. Of course, the HQ is important. The formation, honestly, I'm not quite sure what it means. Other than being a default size for the air unit, you can see these are of course the Japanese denominations and these are the allied ones. Again, I'm not sure if they have uh, an impact in-game. It is quite hard uh, to tell such things. But they are here, you can set them or whatever, on whatever. And you can set the maximum number of aircraft, pilots, sorry. Right. And you can see the experience, say 55 or whatever. If we look at others, you can see that uh, some of these uh, planes, they have the trainer button enabled. Even though, in game, if you go to them, they are not actually trainers. They can do other things. They can bomb, they can do many other things. Not... So, uh... I don't know if this is necessarily a bug or whatever it is, but uh, theoretically these guys uh, are better at training. Uh, from my own experimentation this is not true, but take this uh, with a grain of salt, you may experience and you may find out uh, different things experimenting on your own.
You can uh, select a parent, of course. You can select uh, the mission, if you want to uh, set the AI, perhaps, to do a certain mission. The location, upgrade, of course, and the class. This is, of course, important uh, if you uh, have a restricted units. And, of course, here is what I was uh, meaning uh, before. Centerline provides a bonus to accuracy, while side guns, the ones mounted on the wings, do not. Upward, I think uh, it would make sense anyway. Uh, if if uh, it had a bonus to an uh, aircraft above them, right? So high altitude bombers. And internal and external drop tanks and such things are of course important for damage and other such things. The locations, this uh, is not actually the locations of the game. This is the locations of location of the units in game. And you can see these are the Japanese ones, and the lower down are the Americans. And you can uh, select them. You, can, you may see this uh, is the location, this is how you... Uh, where you place them, of course. You may notice, by the way, ports. This is, of course, all the things that an LCU has. You may discover that some units start with higher level ports than are naturally possible. So just explore this uh, list. Who knows what you may find. Some of them, as you may see, have uh, assigned leaders from the leader pool, of course. This is, of course, uh, in-game pre-made leaders. Otherwise, if it's at zero, it has a random leader gets generated along uh, on the baseline of uh, the nation, right? You may also see, for example, this, uh, how much supply they have. How much supply they can get, right? And you may, of course, uh, modify this. Say, if you want to put 2,000 2, engineers or 2,000 support in a unit, you can do exactly that. And of course, you may put whatever device you want uh, in the game. One of the uh, more interesting things about uh, this that you may want to know. Is uh, things th that have coastal guns. Ah, of course. You may search for this uh, like this. And you just press the button. Ah, of course. So big bay defense. This is what I want to do. They start with level 7 ports. This is quite interesting, of course. But take a look at their uh, units. They have these coastal defense guns. This is one of the most uh, interesting uh, devices in the whole game. Say, take a look at uh, these ones. 10 inch 1146. Let's look at that. 1146. If we. <laughs> of course, if uh, it would work too. Here, here it is. And you may see it has penetration, right? Just uh, as you might expect. It has. Uh, Anti-armor, it does not have any armor, some of these uh, are a bit weird. It has anti-soft, so it's essentially an, a static artillery unit, right? As you might expect, you know, it's a uh, an artillery gun that is meant for the Navy. But in practice it works more like uh, just simple artillery, like you can just compare them to this one, right? They are quite similar, a bit shittier. Right, they have actually more anti-armor, right? Right, because of course these are a 6 inch. You can perhaps compare these ones, they have a little more... Uh, a little less anti-armor than uh, their uh, 6 inch uh, artillery counterparts, and these are not static. Ah, these ones aren't it either, okay. And they have a pool, of course. Not many of them you can build apparently. Ah, these ones you can, right? Some of them do have armor though. Take a look. This one, this uh, both the 12 inch and the uh, 14 inch variant has 600 and 300 millimeters of armor, especially. Now this is normally meant for AFVs. But this, take a look uh, 
at their uh, penetration, right? So a lot of the artillery in the game, especially the Japanese Japanese one, literally cannot penetrate this armor. So uh, when you combine the coastal defense gun unit with a level seven forts, plus a uh, coastal defense gun, multiple of them that cannot be penetrated, you get some quite formidable fortresses on your hands. This, of course, uh, this does not. Uh, really exist for anything else in the game as far as I'm aware besides you know a 10 inch guns or whatever but uh, yeah these are uh, ship guns but of course you're never gonna have the uh, touch uh, guns on a coastal defense unit whatever you can also look at uh, the task forces set their uh, destination their uh, home base such everything that you see in the game you can set here with pilots for example, you see these are individual pilots, these are all the predetermined ones before you pull any from the reinforcement replacement pool. And you can see this is leader, not a leader. This means that uh, it does not also have a leader here. For example, because I always like to talk about this guy. Okay iPhone. There you go. This is uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Tateo Kato. He starts off uh, in the game both as a pilot and as a leader. You can see this; they are linked for the 64th uh, Sentai. You can of course move them and you can set them for a specific type of plane. Interestingly enough, you can also set them as uh, electronic warfare uh, initiatives, okay? Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> I, I I was not aware that such a thing was in the game. Huh. Same with jet fighters, apparently. Hmm. They have they have specific pilots. I do wonder what kind of skills these uh, these guys would have, but okay. And you can look at them as leaders. Sorry, reverse again. Where is it? Come on. Here it is. No? I am indeed blind. Well, whatever you can see, look at these uh, leaders. And you can see they have their skills as they usually do. But uh, these ones are uh, also translate to, uh, you know, in-game skills. Perhaps not quite as uh, useful. And you can set their type, right? If you wanted HQ ship leader, you can also make new ones, whatever. Put them, put them here. And uh, frankly, this is pretty much it. There isn't uh, actually that much more to this. If you want to make a scenario, this is pretty much all the information you have. You can also modify things. Main thing you may want to modify is, of course, uh, the locations. We can take a look, for example, at. This is the locations in game. You can say, uh, let's look at Tokyo. You can also, on the right over here, you can see what comes to it, what spawns here. This is a quicker tool, right? You can see all the land units and their date in, uh, by, sorted by ID, the aircraft that come here, and the ships that come here, right here, right? You can also set a, say, see the industry, right? And the research facilities and you can see also the supply oil resources that they have and how much they get if you want to give the japanese i don't know 1000 supply per day you can do uh, this and that's gonna that's what's gonna happen and you can also perhaps uh, adjust the uh, garrison level if you perhaps want uh, the japanese to have to hold troops in japan you can put this like 100 you can see the force for the allies is 1160 so quite considerable, you can also put it to withdraw, whatever. And so there you go. You can also set the type of unit that it is. So here it is, that, uh, you may want to modify whatever you want in the game. This is uh, this easy to do so. 
this is pretty much all I really want to show. Thanks for watching and see you next time.